The State Minister for Ethics and Integrity, Ross Lili Akelo, says the moral decline currently experienced in the young generation is a matter that will be solved collaboratively with all government stakeholders. The Directorate of Ethics and Integrity, whose mission is to empower the Ugandan so society to uphold moral values and principles, is very concerned about this train of events surrounding Uganda's young generation. We shall therefore continue to work with our stakeholders to take both preventive measures and punitive measures to fight this immorality. The Directorate of, for Ethics and Integrity urges parents and all leaders in their various capacities, including teachers and local leaders, not to remain complacent on this matter. Rebuilding ethics and restoring the glory of this nation is a collective responsibility. She asserts that the Lord punish the offenders is in place and ready for activation in order to mitigate this worrying trend. There is also the Computer Misuse Act 2011, which makes provision to prevent abuse or misuse of information, including computers. I therefore appeal to you Ugandans, that the generation, to observe the provision of the law as well as our national, religious and cultural values. The Director Ethics, Reverend Akanon Aaron Mwesije has called upon the church and media fraternity to advance good ethical advocacy to the public as means of assisting government in cultivating morality standards amongst Uganda's populace. The only person who can correct that is the media. Go and get research and, and then come up with a story that informs society of what we should do as a country to, to defeat this nudity. Religious leaders were very in fact, even that toilet where that act took place should be brought down, burnt down. Crispus, Arinateway, UBC News.